Welcome to Family Gamer TV. I'm with Guha Barlow again, who's making a habit of this. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, and we've got some B-roll which we're going to look at, but I want to actually look in detail at what's happening on the screen here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through it, and I thought maybe if you had anything to sort of add to what's, ha what's happening, um, mm -hmm. get like an insider story on how the games come together. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so we're bringing in here first Spyro. I mean, Spyro joined us uh, with Spyro's adventure right at the beginning, but one of the cool things about Spyro is, it, is that uh, since the beginning of PlayStation, he's been on every new platform launch. So, of course, we're bringing him forward again for the launch of the PS4 mm -hmm. uh, with PS4 for Skylanders Spot Force. And next year, we, we're bringing in Rattleshake. Rattleshake is a really cool character. He's a snake cowboy. Um, now, he is a bounce type Skylander, so you can see unique animations uh, with him. And so, just seeing him, he's using his his sort of stick with the snake on the end and it seems to fire out the eyes is that right yeah that's right he's got a gun but nobody in the skyline shoots bullets he shoots a very sort of spring-loaded frustrated snake mm -hmm. uh, and uh, can upgrade it on all kinds of cool ways as well so his snake can sort of shoot out and sort of have a venom effect mm -hmm. uh, on players at the same time it can loop around and collect coins as well mm -hmm. uh, as it upgrades uh, oh. really cool different uh, types of moves that rattleshake can do I think you see some of the sort of like a missile attack in this in a little while. So here, here you get a cutscene for one of the enemies, Cyclops. That's right. So we have all kinds of enemy variety in uh, Skylander Swap Force. Uh, here we have a lobber type of uh, Cyclops. Uh, every one of these uh, enemies has a little story about them that you can really intuit by directly looking at them. So these Cyclops, uh, well, they shovel snow and they lob snowballs at you, they usually hit each other in a lot of ways too. <laughs> yeah. Cool, let's press on back to Rattles Rattleshake. So Rattleshake here is using his, uh, uh, his catapult snake to be able to take, it out and take out the enemies really quickly. We're gonna next bring in an uh, all new Skylander that we're introducing. Uh, he's a swap force character called Boomjet, and he's sort of a, a f uh, flyboy character uh, he's uh, a fellow that holds a bomb, but he also rides a propeller jet turbine. Mm -hmm. Now, he has a bunch of really cool moves. He can call in airstrikes with giant bombs that, roam, uh, that rain down. Uh, in addition to that, he can charge up his bomb attack, so instead of just lobbing and throwing a long bomb, he can unleash sort of a giant mega bomb uh, so as well. You'd hold your finger on the button and you'd get a bigger attack. That's right. You hold the button and it's not only a bigger attack, it sort of almost looks like a little baby atom bomb mm -hmm. uh, that you can launch against your enemies. Was there any reluctance in that nuclear power is not maybe not the, the most uh, um, liked energy form of energy? Is there conversations around whether to include that or not? Well, you know, the bomb is a sort of a comic, comical bomb and that kind of thing. Nobody really irradiates in the skylines <laughs> either. I think the magic yeah. of the skylines keeps them safe from that. Yeah. And the important thing is it's really magic that makes the skylines work, world go. Uh, and not uh, our modern technology or the side effects of our modern technology <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah, cool. So here we have another cut scene. I missed what they were called. Who, who are these? Uh, these guys are the Cy uh, Cyclops Twist Picks. Mm -hmm. And uh, these folks are a spinner variety. And what they're going to do is sort of spin around, home in on you, and then spin uncontrollably. While they're spinning, you can't actually injure them. And so you have to be really careful and avoid their attacks. Now they have a couple different stages of their attacks also. So now your character combinations really make a big difference. And so here we recombine uh, Rattleshake's top, the rattle part, with Boom Jet's bottom. So mm -hmm. now you have uh, Rattle Jet. Cool. And he's got his propeller jet bottom that allows him to get around speedily. Uh, in addition to that, he can use the homing characteristic of his snake catapult to be able to get the twist picks. Mm -hmm. So there he is whizzing around. That's right. Now one of the interesting things about the twist picks is when they come down and they unleash their spinning attack, they can't quite see each other. So you can really get them to collide into each other as well. And that's a good way of being able to throw them off balance, but it's also a good way of getting out of the encounter unscathed. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, with each of these enemies, we ask the player a question. Uh, not only how do I beat the character, but what is their story and what is their trick? Now, when we layer that on top of other enemies, that will create lots of tactical varieties for the player to explore, mm -hmm. and especially explore with novel Skylander moves. Mm -hmm. And novel Skylanders, and here, here's another, um, Zulu, who I actually, I thought I thought he was a she, but I've mm -hmm. discovered that he's a, he's a male, male Skylander. So Zulu's uh, very cool and, uh, and is a very popular uh, Skylander in our offices. 
Now, Zulu himself, he's a shaman life Skyliner, and as such, he can actually summon different types of creatures. You saw him just a little bit before riding a boar, mm -hmm. and while he's riding a boar, he can unleash his other attacks as well. Uh, here, uh, he unleashes a wolf, and the wolf spirit actually runs around and gets enemies, but he can also find, he can dig up and find health upgrades for you if you're low on energy as well. So with every one of these characters, we try to not only do the obvious, but uh, hide a lot of surprises mm -hmm. for players as well. So it's not only when you look at the toy and you can make up your story about Zulia and who he is, you can also find out things that you would have never expected from upgrading the character as well. Mm -hmm. Now, a character like Zulu, is mm -hmm. that something that's been entirely created within um, Vicarious Visions? Um, mm -hmm. Or does Toys of Orb have, have, get involved in that? What, what's that relationship like in terms of new characters? So, um, you know, we've worked with, at Vicarious Prison with Toys for Bob uh, since the very beginning from Skylander Spires mm -hmm. Adventure. And uh, really the studios inspire each other, uh, I think, in many ways. And so while the toy character designs are originated from Vicarious Visions, we build the toys. We build um, uh, both the physical design as well as the um, in-game in visuals the visual models, the moves, the upgrades, the mechanics. Um, the folks from Toys for Bob are involved in the review and the honing process for that. Mm -hmm. With two studios in inventing the characters, it allows us to think in different ways. Now, in a lot of ways, Toys for Bob and Vicarious Visions are alike, but because two studios have worked over time to create these characters, that means the variety that you get with each generation is really substantial and very different as well. Mm -hmm. So I imagine maybe you're looking at characters that they're starting to invent for the game after Swap Force. Uh, well, you know, that's a very uh, interesting topic when one, one I can't talk about, obviously, right now. I would say, though, it's a very awesome creative collaboration between our studios. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so we're almost at the end of our um, B-roll here. Mm -hmm. um, so th we've got Zulu surfing the rainbow um, section of the game there. That's right. You know, one of the really important things that we offer from a swap force and I think Skylanders in general uh, standpoint is that while there's variety in the toys, the toys really have variety both in the living room in terms of the play pattern that's in your living room. In the case of swap force, the mixing and matching, that's just a lot of fun by itself uh, with the toys. It also offers an enormous uh, amount of variety within the game as well. You know, when we work with the hundreds of kids through development, what we find is they love to play with their favorite toys, they love to bring in new toys, but it's about the new types of adventures that they discover playing the same levels over and over again, and so we have to offer that richness within every level. And so the kind of the rich, crafted gameplay that we offer within the levels, within the bonus content, the optional areas, that's all a fundamental essence of what we do for Skylanders. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's quite a long queue to be those children that get to test out. Well, I mean, how do you, how do you choose them? And we pick the children for the diversity of play, uh, the age demographics, are they existing fans, are they new fans? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, I'm just almost at the end here, mm -hmm. our old friend now, Grilla mm -hmm. Driller. Right. So this, this is pretty amazing. You know, I think uh, it'll be up to, I think you need to get your hands on this, this fellow and really play with him as well. Top and bottom half do really unique things. You know, the uh, top half we saw, saw there with uh, driller arms. The driller arms could be individual drills that he could use to punch with, but he can also hold down the charge for like a super drill that comes out. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that he could do is command a set of monkeys to drop down <laughs> on vine. Like popular attack. Exactly. And the monkeys at first start sort of wandering around, but they're actually homing monkeys. So if you're clever about them, they'll yeah. zoom into an enemy that you want uh, to have zoomed into, and they'll take them out really quickly. So it's actually a really interesting way of combining tactical variety for him as well. Now his bottom half has drill capabilities, and his branching upgrade path on the bottom half uh, allows you to choose between you know, turrets that are offensive as well as mines that are defensive. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, you have turrets that have that can be uh, planted and shoot shoot out individual coconuts. It could be uh, upgraded to sort of a super banana firing turret as well. <laughs> now, yeah, bananas, of course. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and the bottom, the uh, and then the t uh, mine pathway can be upgraded to eventually. You start with individual mines that you plant, but eventually gets upgraded into sort of a cluster bomb of carrots that explodes and does a, nice. sort of a spread shot damage as well. So again, uh, one of those things where you look at him. He tells a story as a toy. Uh, he's a little upset. He's got the drill, drills on his hands. He's got drill 
on his feet and you're like, okay, I can guess what he could do. You'll never guess about the Legion of Monkeys, <laughs> the homie <laughs> monkeys, or the upgrades that he's got with the turrets or the mines as well. And when you start discovering those things, those are all the cool different ways you'd say, hey, look, now, that's a way I can really use this in this situation or in that level. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of one of the sort of wonderful senses of discovery that we see with the kids when, when they play. Cool. Well, I'm looking forward to going and playing some more. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. That's really You're good. You're welcome.